Hello and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm BinkyB and this will be the fourth and final game with um, Rakdos in Modern. Alright, so we have one, three, four, five. All we need is lands. Uh, I'm gonna keep, but that's obviously a gamble. A pretty huge gamble, but I mean one land and we get to play the arena which should ultimately give us another land and alright if this is burned things could be bad okay blackness is not a bad spell to draw but I would rather draw a land Mountain Grim Lava Master into a second mountain screams burn, but this hand is not that well equipped to beat burn. A blightning, I guess, which saves us a lot of damage. But if we can't draw another land pretty fast here, things will be be really hard. So you can either try to burn us and attack. Risking that the Lava Mancer dies, or um, uh, he could just burn down the monastery Swift Spear and don't care. Swift Bolt, right? And another Lava Mancer. Alright. Yeah, I'll take it. Land? Alright. Too bad we can't do anything else now, but I'm just gonna bash. I mean, he kinda has to point this rift bolt at Swift Spear to ensure that it dies if he cares about it at all. He does not. I hope that he can only play like one spell this turn so that we can. Uh, Lightning away the rest of his hand. That would be the best. Because then all he will have left is. Uh, that is a bad card. And that is a bad card. <laughs> Let's play Blighting. Oh, he lets the Prowess Trigger go. Uh, then I don't want to attack. I'd rather have it as a blocker, actually. Forcing another Grim Lava Master activation. Now we need to draw, uh, I don't know, we're so far behind now. I guess a Lightning Bolt would be nice. Shriek Move would be pretty nice too. Alright. Bad. Or something good. Right. Gonna grab a swamp. And play something that's big enough to not trigger the idle on. I start to ping down those slab masters and hope that he bricks. Right, that's one brick at least. I I guess it could be like that. Now three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess I could get one more turn. If I draw another land, I guess I could play Sarkin and kill Idolon. But I don't think it will get to that point. 
And even if I do, I will be so low that any burn spell will kill me. So I need him to brick for several turns, which is highly unlikely. I'm at one. Yeah. Not that likely, in other words. Has to be basic. So terminate. Uh, so if I zero Chandra and finds, and then he's die. If I Play Koth minus two. That doesn't help. Uh, yeah, okay. Serious, the only way that it could work. <laughs> no. Okay, then we're done. We could have hit the Shriek more, evoked it, killed the Eidolon, and then terminate the Lavamancer. Arena's out. Uh, Devour Flesh in. Uh, Grim Lavamancers. Pillar of Flames. Probably Bonfires. Out with all the Thought Seasers. What more? Probably shave of lightning at least. And a cough. Seems pretty bad. Yeah, it, it was close. We could we could have turned that game around, I think. But her hand was way too slow to beat that. Guess if he would have like bricked for one more turn, we might have had a chance to. Uh, yes, I would like to play first. Uh, no. Okay, this hand is pretty good. I'm gonna take the aggressive approach, since that's what my hand has been giving me. So I have two removal spells and some win conditions, so that's pretty good. If he plays like a creature, I could go Bolt, Iron Mesa, Fetch, uh, Blood Crypt, goes for Rift Bolt. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to uh, play Young Pyromancer here because if I do, he will aim the Rift Bolt at it, and that would mean that the Rift Bolt kills the Pyromancer. I get no value, and uh, he still gets to do the damage since I have to take three from my fetch land to play it. So it seems pretty bad to me overall. So where is aiming? At me. Seems legit. Weird foothills, alright. Is it an idol on? Yes. Then I will fetch a blood crypt. <sighs> yeah, right. Evoke this. So we don't have to take any damage. Wouldn't have mind a la minded a land there, but the 
that's just how it is. A land could still be good since we have lightning. Probably play young paramas first. I hope it doesn't have volcanic fallout because that would be bad. So now we have a pretty good amount of pressure. He probably has at least four spells in hand. Not gonna bolt now to get the extra damage. Unless he gives me an incentive to, like he plays a two damage spell. I'd rather save it for a Goblin Guide or Eidolon or whatever. Which he probably doesn't have. Yeah, that's fine. So yes, five cards in hand. Next turn seems like a good turn for Blightning. Deal. Do I bolt that? It needs to have two... Two spells. Yeah, I'm going to bolt it. If it pumps, I can uh, block with my token. He could just let it die. It's always an option. Makes me happier since I will get to Blightning next turn anyway and... Oh, a Shard Volley? Okay. When you reach this point you're p feeling pretty good about yourself. When they start throwing stuff at your uh, creatures. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Cough. It would be nice to play Blighting here, but uh, I'd rather just get my stuff out. And I can pl play Blighting next turn. Maybe not get as many... Oh no! <laughs> I pressed the wrong mountain. So that is one thing that doesn't happen in real life. Ah well, hopefully it won't come back to bite me. Stomping ground, so he has uh, destructive revelry somewhere in the deck. Okay, killing cough. Yeah, that was a good use of cough. Oh well, I think we'll win this game anyway now. But he should be at six, so he should be dead now. I'm give, basically giving him an extra turn. Set another flames. Okay. So now land would be good draws. Spells would be good draws. That's annoying. <laughs> but now he can't play that many more spells either, so... Alright, and that's the game. Sharkan, the dragon speaker, will finish you. He will do the job that Koth couldn't handle. Hmm. 
Maybe I want the dress. Nah, I think it's fine. I'd rather not draw those cards later in the game than having the upside of maybe having them in my opener. Ooh. This hand is not good. So if we draw lands, we're screwed. If we draw spells, we might have a chance. Okay. I figure he, he has played a decent amount of creatures and hopefully he will keep doing that. Like a superhero or something. A oh, goblin guide is okay. So I could actually be persuaded into playing a Bloodstained Mire <coughs> and would hold off the Lightning Bolt. Ah, sweet. It's not really what I want, but uh, that's fine. I guess now I'm gonna play a mountain. If Goblin Guide reveals a land, everything is nice and dandy. But if he reveals a good spell, I wouldn't want to fetch. So the only time I would want to fetch if he showed me a bad spell, and a bad spell in this position is almost nothing. So let's see what you reveal before I make any decisions. Land. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's Bolt the Goblin Guide, Untap, play Blackleaf Cliffs, and uh, Shriek mod uh, Swift Spear. Or maybe I don't do that. Okay. Lightning. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. The next turn I can play Lightning Bolt or Blighting. It depends on what he is doing. If he goes like Lava Spike, Lava Spike, I will bl play Blighting. Rift Bolt. And Passing, okay. Then I probably... Yeah, I think he's play Blighting now. It sets up my next turn pretty well. And it gets rid of any Flames of the Blood hands or other stuff that might be in his hand. And then next time we can play Swift Spear and Bolt the Lavamancer. Okay. Nothing we could do about that. This forces his hand, which is nice too. Not sure why this is being done now, but it's fine. And the last card was. Skullcrack. Okay, so I go to 9, I have to play my Swift Spear, probably defend with it. <sighs> yeah, okay. Sweet, another mountain, just what I needed. Or am I going to attack? I am going to bolt the Lava Manson no matter what, so I might as well. I 
I just want to see where his damage is going. Yeah, I just have to bolt it. I'm missing out on a point of damage, but it's fine. So I go to 7, and he has one card in hand. 2 now. But I have nothing, so. Okay, let's play Inquisition and hope that his last card is Flames of the Bloodhound. Mountain. That's fine too. And yeah, I think I have to attack. I would like to draw Sarkan, Koth, and that was the only card he just couldn't draw. Because now I go down to three, and that's very lethal. What is my best option here? I'm going to play Sarkhan, but what am I going to do with him? I'm probably going to... Let's see, if I hit with this, he goes down. It does No, I'm just going to kill that. I need him to break for, uh, for two turns anyway. But I guess this way if he draws another haste creature, it's pretty bad. But then he burns below and I'm dead, so... I think this way is dead in 3 turns, and if I just attack with Sarkin he's dead in 4. So this is a turn faster, I think. But it's probably over right about now. Yeah. Okay. Well, there was nothing we could do about that. Uh, our draw was a bit poor. Uh, and we would have lost anyway. Alright. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed these videos. I think the deck was pretty nice, actually. Um, I'm sure it could be improved a lot. Uh... But yeah, other than that, I think it was it was it was fun. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, click like if you liked it, and uh, have a great time.